Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you something truly exciting. We're diving into the world of 8-bit music, because, well, frankly, I need music for my videos. I'll be showcasing a program that I built to create our very own 8-bit tracks, but here's the twist. I built this using ChatGPT, utilizing custom instructions that I discussed in another video to code up this application. I'll provide a link for that video here. I'm going to walk you through the program and then show you a demo. This code combines the power of libraries like PyDub and Pygame to create, visualize, and play musical tracks. So grab your headphones and let's dive in. First, let's look at the imports. We're using PyDub for audio manipulation, Pygame for playing the audio, Matplotlib for visualization, and tkinter for the GUI. These libraries work together to create a seamless user experience. Next, we'll initialize Pygames Mixer. This is essential for playing the audio tracks we'll be generating without having to export and then open them in order to listen to them. Here's where the magic happens. We have several functions that handle different aspects of the music generation process. Note to frequency maps musical notes to their corresponding frequencies, taking into account the octave it should land in. Create segment creates an audio segment based on input parameters like note, duration, volume, and wave pattern. This function play track plays the generated track using the Pygame mixer from earlier. The function generate track generates and outputs the entire track by combining melody, bassline, and percussion. It then saves the music file off for you. And then update plot. This function is used to visualize the notes, duration, and decibels of each note. Now let's move on to the GUI setup using tkinter. This part of the code creates the user interface where users can input their melody, bassline, and percussion sequences, choose wave patterns, and set durations and volumes. In the code, each section has presets as placeholders. There's the melody section here. Users can input the melody sequence, duration, volume, and wave pattern. The bassline section allows to do the bassline sequence, and the percussion section, same kind of thing. Finally, users can name the output file and either generate or play the track they have created. The code also includes a matplotlib plot that visualizes the notes, duration, and volume. This is a great way to see how the music is structured. Now let's see what this looks like when we launch it. First, let's take a look at the overall interface. As you can see, the program is divided into three main sections, melody, bassline, and percussion. Each section allows you to input a sequence of notes, duration, volume, and choose a wave pattern like sine, square, sawtooth, or triangle. I'll discuss those a bit later. This gives you a complete control over the sound you want to create. Now let's dive into the melody section. Here you can input a sequence of notes like C5, D5, E5, and so on. You can also control the duration of each note, either individually or collectively, and the overall volume. The wave pattern selection allows you to shape the sound, giving it a unique character. This is where the magic of 8-bit comes alive. Next we have the bassline and percussion sections. These work similarly to the melody section, but allow you to add depth and rhythm to your track. You can create a bass line and add percussion elements to give you a music beat. And since my percussive skills are lacking, I think I'll leave that up to you to amaze me with the possibilities there. Now I'm going to jump into the world of 8-bit music theory. Here are some quick graphs about what types of waves and how the music note frequencies work. But there are some really good videos out there, such as this playlist about music theory done by 8-bit music theory. And then for some basics about types and of sound waves, you should check out this video that goes into more detail about waveforms. But in our program, we have four main wave patterns, sine, square, sawtooth, and triangle. Each of these has a unique shape and sound. 
The sine wave is smooth and pure, often used for melodic elements. The square wave has a sharp, edgy sound, perfect for bass lines and re retro effects. The sawtooth wave has a bright, buzzy character, adding energy to the track. The triangle wave offers a softer, more rounded sound, great for background elements. Once you've input all the elements, you can hit the Generate button to create your track. You can also play it directly within the program by clicking the Play button. Notice that you can even visualize the notes, durations, and volumes in this beautiful plot. Now let's play around. <laughs> When you're done and want to share your creation with the world, you can easily export your track as a WAV file. This was such a fun program to build with ChatGPT utilizing custom instructions like I discussed before. It's a testament to the power of AI and modern tools in music creation. So there you have it folks, a comprehensive look at this 8-bit music maker that I built. Whether you're a seasoned musician or starting out, this tool opens up a world of creativity. If you want to learn more about how I built this using ChatGPT, make sure to check out my previous video, where I talk about using my custom instructions to maximize the performance of ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Until next time, happy music making. Bye!